what makes these platforms so dominant? Why do platforms end up dominating so many industries? Why do platforms end up with what we see very often as a winner-take-all scenario? Why do we see one single platform ending up dominating an industry that it enters? This happens largely because of three reasons in particular. The first is that all platforms, when they open themselves to producers and consumers, they start benefiting from something called network effects, where the more producers come on board, the more consumers benefit from the platform, and the more consumers come on board, the more producers want to be on the platform as well. And what we see with all of these platforms is that once they start reaching these network effects, producers and consumers in that industry do not want to participate in an alternate platform this, the market starts coalescing around a single platform. We've seen this happen in social networking with Facebook and LinkedIn coalescing the entire market around themselves. We're seeing this happening in, in other spaces, uh, in, in e-commerce with Amazon in the US, in uh, uh, accommodation with Airbnb. So in a whole range of cases, we've seen network effects repeatedly help a single firm gain a dominant position. What this leads to then is the second important moat that a platform creates. Once a platform benefits from network effects, it starts gaining a lot of data about what the producers and consumers in its ecosystem are doing on the platform. And so it uses machine learning to start understanding the deep patterns behind what exactly is happening in the ecosystem, and then start using these patterns to potentially influence and, in some cases, manipulate behavior of these markets around the platform. We've seen many different examples of this. Uh, if you think about Facebook, Facebook learns a lot about us using the news feed and then uses the news feed to offer new opportunities and new recommendations in terms of who we should interact with, what kind of content we should consume. And that's an example of a platform using machine learning, using data that they're gathering from us to change the way we interact with the rest of the market. In the case of Facebook, the market is everybody else who creates content and feeds that content to us. But if we take this to other examples, like Uber, for example, some of these platforms end up even manipulating the market. So if you think of Uber, very often, Uber sends a, a driver down a certain recommended route, because not because it's the most efficient route to the end destination, but because that is the route that is not effectively mapped in Uber's mapping data. And so the driver is helping Uber kind of map the route out and figure out what are the various uh, obstacles, what are the various characteristics of that route. And so from that perspective, Uber is then using data to manipulate the market in a certain direction. What, what then happens now that platforms benefit from network effects and machine learning, they build massive demand-side economies of scale. Because of network effects, they have a huge ecosystem. And because of machine learning, they have increasingly new ways of engaging this ecosystem towards greater participation. Because of these massive demand-side economies of scale, they're able to then open up and benefit from supply-side economies of scale as well which is that they are able to start investing much more in asset bases that can be shared across the large demand-side ecosystems that they create. 